everybody. I'm at Firebird. It's Christmas Eve, and I'm sitting in the bar area. Um, I've ordered one of their popular drinks called the Double Black Diamond, which is a pineapple martini that they make in-house. Um, apparently, it's aged over 21 days, so it's supposed to be really, really good. Yeah, I agree. It is really good. Um, at the time, we're just waiting on my appetizers to come out. Appetizers have arrived. We have beef sliders. To be honest, I like your And ranch greens. Um, to be honest, the one, the presentation was much better before, but my sister's greedy and she's already nibbled off of one. However, <laughs> definitely want y'all to get an opportunity to see them before we dig in. Hey everybody, we're at our second stop, which is Cooper's Hawk on Christmas Eve, and we're at their infamous wine tasting. And we're starting off with what is called a winter white. It's actually a wine that's like warm, so not only is it really tasty, but it kind of warms you up, especially when it's cold outside. <laughs> so we were actually trying the sweet tasting uh, for December. I mean, if you notice, the standard tasting is eight dollars, and the tasting souvenir wine glass is eleven. Um, so they actually have multiple ones that you can try. They even have the Lux Edition, which is some of their top um, line Cooper Hall wines that you can also try. And it's a few more dollars than the standard taste variety. I don't want the black and white sweet variety and sweet. And they offer a different selection of both. And if you're lucky, you'll get a good one that'll let you switch them up. So we're at Cooper's Hall, we're doing the wine tasting. Um, it's a very popular thing to do any day of the week, especially on the weekends, it gets really, really crowded. So if you want to get an opportunity to definitely get a spot at the bar, you need to come earlier in the week. Is raspberry? Yeah, thank you. Oh, sorry, you guys. Our, I guess our wine host, Brandon, is doing things time. behind the is making me laugh so if I keep laughing then obviously you know what's going on right now. <laughs> yes our truffles and strawberries have arrived. Our wine host for the evening kicked these out. I'm really hoping that white one is white chocolate. It would make everything amazing. We also if you didn't notice earlier you have these little kind of bland crackers you know it is what it is but what they're really there for is that as you're switching between the wine you're breaking up the taste. So crackers, truffles, strawberries and wine. Oh my. So I told you we started off with the winter white, which was a warm and wine. We had the raspberry, the romance red. Um, not a big wine person, so I can't tell you all the good stuff about it. But these little wine tasting charts surely do the deal. They tell you about what it goes with. Hey, the raspberry goes with dark chocolate and light desserts, which we're definitely tasting right now. And the one we are in our glass now is actually the almond sparkling. This must be a very popular one because before we even got the sample, they politely told us they had no more in the building to sell. So, uh, guess we won't be buying that one tonight. Um, after that, I think we're going to kind of go white and hang out with the Riesling and the Gewürztraminer, which I just learned how to say that. They're practicing that for a while now before I sit on the video. And then maybe we'll go to the Passion Fruit and try a few more if they let us before we get to the Limoncello. I'm tasting the white chocolate truffle. Mm, I absolutely love it. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. The other ones are good too, but this one I think by far is the best. Very refreshing. Not like too refreshing, but uh, I like it better than a Rizzling, to be honest. Oh, I'm getting camera directed again because again, apparently I don't know how to use the camera. And I think the camera is getting directed again. So every time you see it move, that is my camera girl, AKA my sister next to me. And I believe that she is going to direct me again to get the camera right. But again, we're here at the Cooper's Hawk Wine Tasting. Um, oh, and there we go again. So we're having a great time. It is Christmas Eve and the people are smiling and they're being nosy on my camera. I think they're trying to photo bomb me on the slide. But it's not working. And so definitely this is just one of those spots. Like if you're just on a budget and you just want to have a good time. Like I said, the standard wine tasting is only $8. And then if you wanted to spice it up and add something like the strawberries, they're like a dollar a piece or dollar fifty a piece. So it's a way that like really right now we have two wine tastings, three truffles and two chocolate covered strawberries for nothing but $25. There go that guy again. 
I really think it's kind of photo bomb. But um, for 25 bucks, and it's kind of like you're being bougie on there. Let's go to camera again. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like you're being bougie on a budget, but it's also just a really, really good time for you just to go out and hang out with people. Um, so definitely, if you get a chance, and they go, Brandon, yay! Yeah. <laughs> So definitely you get a chance, come out to Cooper's Hall. It's in the St. John's Town Center. The people here are awesome, great service. And if you can look up, get Brandon. Brandon is amazing. This is now, let me back it up. This is now the infamous Lemon Shadow. This definitely sells out all the time around here. It is actually, uh oh, where's my wine tasting chart? It's like to be all professional with it. It is a hint of lemon, lime, flowers, and lemon peel. Tangy in a tent. Serve ice cold after dinner. Uh, yeah, look at the alcohol content. Yeah, pretty much alcohol. Sweet. It has body. Give me body. Give me body. But anyway, this is a popular one, especially during the holidays for people to get. And I doubt they even have this in the building. Here we go. So as a conclusion of our wine tasting, I'm gonna have you meet the awesome person that was behind the bar or the wine table. Uh, introduce him. Hello, Jacksonville, Florida, and the rest of the world. My name is Brandon, coming to you live from Cooper's Hawk. Having a good time over here, doing the thing, and enjoying the holiday season. Beautiful weather, and these beautiful ladies here as well. And that is why we love Brandon. <laughs>